If you use Zoom, even if you just join meetings using a free account, you need to know about the new Zoom workplace. It might change the way you Zoom. Zoom recently announced Zoom Workplace. It was the focus of their keynote speech at Enterprise Connect. They gave press and analysts a briefing about it, and I think there's a lot more to it than, than meets the eye at first. At first, I thought it was a marketing announcement, a branding announcement, but it's actually about product. It's actually about user experience. So in this video, I want to explain what Workplace is really about. We're going to talk about AI. I know you're sick of hearing about AI, but they're doing something really different. And I think it's, if I understand it correctly, it's exactly what I've been complaining about and asking for for the last year. So I think it's, I think it's a big deal. We're going to talk about why they're doing this. It's, it's kind of a big change in strategy for Zoom. And we're, to, we're going to discuss whether or not it's going to work. A year from now, when the investors are watching this video, are they going to be clicking that like button or dislike button? If you're like me, you're probably thinking, OK, I get it. They're renaming their portfolio, Zoom Workplace, because they have a bunch of different workplace apps. I know most people think of Zoom meetings. When you think of Zoom, this is what put them on the map. This is what made them famous. We've all been in, in tons of Zoom meetings, right? We have our toolbar at the bottom. But we know that Zoom makes a bunch of workplace apps. So we probably think, well, I'm just going to get a Zoom meetings account. But for people, business people, people with boardrooms like this, they need to get more other, you know, other apps within the Zoom workplace. And if we go to the Zoom website and look at the page on Zoom workplace, we see the kind of things you'd expect. They have meetings, team chat, whiteboard clips. Let me get my board out of the way here. Notes, rooms, all, all of the different different things you would expect to be under workplace. So these are the new products, right? No, these are not products. You are not getting a Zoom meetings account. The product is Zoom workplace. Zoom only sells one product now. If you, if you go to their products, the only product is Zoom workplace. These are all elements within Zoom Workplace, and a lot of them come with the, with the free version of it. They also have business services. There's some things, you know, contact center isn't something every Zoom Zoomy is doing every day. Uh, events and sessions, webinars, that's not things Zoomies are doing every day. But these things, these are all part of the Zoom Workplace. And it's not just a matter of semantics. There is no Zoom team chat app. There is no Zoom whiteboard app. There is only a Zoom Workplace app. If you, if you, if you try to buy it, there's a tab for workplace and meetings is an element. And by the way, it's an element, same as always, the 40 minute free meetings, but even free, you get team chat, mail, calendar. If you're a small business, you could do as always, you could have some people on pro and a bunch of people on free, but it's not just meetings. It is workplace. Now I'm under personal here, but if you go under business, the only difference is you get more options, you get more business services, but it's still workplace. But what's crucial about this, it's not just the, the sales model, it's not just the way they bundle it, it's not just the way they get it, it's the way you use it. You have a, and this kind of makes me a little bit crazy because this has been in place for a while, a sort of early version of Zoom Workplace, the Zoom app. And <laughs> there are so many of you watching this right now that say, oh, I don't have this, I just have Zoom meetings. Yes, you have this, you have this already. I can't show you all the tabs because I don't want to show all my personal contacts and stuff. But these are the basic elements of Zoom Workplace. They're going to they're going to add more things to it, and they're going to tie it better with the, with the AI. It's not going to look exactly like this, but you sort of already have it. And let me see what I, I could show you my my whiteboards, apps, clips. Oh, this is a new thing, uh, Zoom Scheduler. I haven't even clicked the Get Started button on it yet because I want to do an unboxing for you. But it's all together within what I what I call now the Zoom app, but we're going to call Zoom Workplace. And this is key from a user experience point of view. The AI is a big part of it. We're going to talk about that in a minute. But just the little things, we've talked about toggle tax, but I've had, I've had Zoom integrated with my Google Calendar forever. It works fine. I open my Google Calendar, I click the Zoom app uh, integration, and it puts in a Zoom meeting in my calendar. It works fine. There's no problem with it. But doing it in the Zoom calendar, it's just a little nicer. Okay, it saves me a couple clicks, big deal. It adds up, but it doesn't seem like a big deal, but I know it adds up and I get more options to, to the Zoom settings when I'm setting up my meeting because I'm in Zoom. Those things alone should be enough, but what it really is, it's, it's hard to explain, it's just nicer. It, it just feels like I have everything in one place. It feels like I'm not forgetting anything. It feels like I'm not bouncing around. I'm in my Zoom calendar, 
I create my Zoom meeting. I see all the settings for the Zoom meeting with my Zoom contact. It just feels like a nice way to work. So of course, one of the things that makes Zoom Workplace different from the pre-existing Zoom app is the AI companion. Let's, let's talk about AI a little bit. Now there's one thing that's really been bothering me about the way AI has been rolled out, not just Zoom, but everyone. I was very excited when I had my first meeting summary. Because, you know, we've had meeting summaries in AI before, but I'm talking about the new stuff, the natural language stuff, the stuff that feels like it's a person writing at you. I was in, it was Zoom, it was actually Zoom. They turned on meeting summaries. I had a Zoom meeting and afterwards I got an email and I read it and I said, oh my God, I feel like I'm Batman and Alfred just wrote me a meeting summary. It felt like a person wrote it. It was wonderful. I was, I was, this is it. This is the AI we've been waiting for our whole lives. And then I, I was given a demo of their AI in for their whiteboards and it was Alfred. Okay. But that's not the same Alfred, but it worked great. It was amazing. And then they showed me their, their email summaries and it was, well, that's a really good Alfred. That's a really good Alfred, but that's, that's a different Alfred. And then they had the, an AI that helps write emails, and that was the different Alfred. And, and then there's, you know, every AI they showed me in every tab up in the, what's going to be Zoom Workplace is a different Alfred. And it's all wonderful, and it's all great, and I love them all very, very much, but this is no way for Batman to live. This is it looks like a Batman villain. I want my one Alfred to sort of manage my entire life. I want to wake up in the morning and have Alfred say, I've read your emails. You don't have anything to worry about until lunch. I've, I'm, you're, you have a meeting at noon. You're ready for it. You need to get into chat right now. You need to get into team chat right now because your boss is waiting on you. Whether Batman was in the Batcave or whether Batman was in the Batmobile on the phone or whether he was up in the mansion, he always had the same Alfred and that Alfred knew everything. And that's what I want. And if I'm understanding it correctly, maybe I'm just being hopeful. Zoom had an announcement along with Zoom Workplace for something called Ask AI Companion. And if I'm understanding it right, it is the one Alfred. It exists outside of Zoom meetings, outside of Zoom chat, outside of within Zoom Workplace, but outside of all the other apps. And it knows what's going on with all of them. So in the morning, you can ask it what's going on with my day and it'll know about the emails, it'll know about the meetings, it'll know about everything. Oh, and to be fair to Zoom, because I've kind of been beating up on them for giving us so many different com AI companions, you really do need a different companion for each application. It's just the way it works. And it's kind of a lot worse with Microsoft Copilot. I don't want to get in trouble for, for giving too big of a number, but I'm pretty sure they have well over a dozen different Copilots, and it's not just a matter of managing them all. You have to figure out which ones to license and pay for. At least uh, Zoom's companions are all free, and again, now we have our one Alfred to manage them all, which is, which is what I've always wanted. One more quick comment. I like the name AI Companion because it's a companion. These things work better if you think of them as a person and don't think of them as a search bar, but you could also call it Alfred. That'd be, kind, that'd be kind of a cool name because it makes me feel like Batman. So let's go on to our next topic. Why is Zoom doing this? Well, they kind of have to. They can't really win on having the best meetings anymore. It, they might still be ahead on meetings. They might be, you know, whatever, six months, nine months ahead on features. But it, it used to be that they weren't just ahead. It used to be that the competition was some of the competition was problematic. Going back a few years, if you were if you were a Zoomie and you were given an invite to a meeting that wasn't Zoom, sometimes a few minutes into the meeting, people started complaining. There was bad video out there, and the competition has been catching up. Uh, even if Zoom is still ahead, competition it's acceptable. No one complains about going into other meetings anymore. Even if they're hardcore Zoomies and, and prefer Zoom, it's okay. And that's a different world. So we can't win on meetings anymore. We really need to win on other things. And this workplace experience, that's something that gives real value to the user. I talked before about how it's just nice to work this way, but I think I glossed over the productivity benefits. I mean, it, it's pretty obvious that this is just a more efficient way to work, having everything in one app as opposed to a bunch of different apps. From a bigger viewpoint, looking back, it just kind of feels like this is the right way to do hybrid post pandemic. I've been saying even before the pandemic, I've been a big fan of hybrid. And I've said that my office is now in the cloud. 
When I used to commute to the office, it was because my people, my tools, and my files were physically there. And now that I work remotely, now that I have a hybrid team, my office is the cloud. That's where my people are. That's where my tools are. That's where my files are. But it was in a bunch of different apps for years now. The idea of having it all in one virtual workplace, this is, this is, this is what I've always been saying is the right way to do hybrid. So finally, will this work for Zoom? Well, I'm not psychic, but I do think this is the right strategy. They could have doubled down on meetings. They, they, they're leading on meetings. They're known for meetings. They could just continue to be leading on meetings. Like I said before, I don't think that'll be enough. They could spend billions and billions to pick any feature, chat, make their chat the leading chat ahead of all the other business chats. I don't think any one thing will be enough. I think going for the workflow, that's what really got Zoom in the first place. It wasn't the top down argument. It wasn't telling the bosses, this is the best thing for your employees. It was employees saying, we like this, please don't take it away from us. And this new workflow tied together by AI, it could be that thing where the Zoomies themselves say, this is the tool we prefer to use. Thanks so much for watching. I hope this clears up the new Zoom workplace. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments and please like and subscribe.